Now we're going to head out to Tom and Dave from Armageddon Academy. They're going to tell you about AR maintenance, how to keep that thing up and running. Take it away, fellas. Hi, I'm Tom Fuller. If you're one of the millions of new AR owners out there in America, you need to know how to maintain your AR to, to get the most enjoyment out of it and have it perform flawlessly. While there may be a lot of information out there that may make this process intimidating, it's actually a very simple process. While the AR is made to take tons of abuse and work flawlessly in the worst of conditions and environments, there's still some things that you need to know in order to make sure that this thing's running properly. A lot of the competitive shooters that I know that shoot their weapons more than most of you will rarely clean their weapon, or when they do, it's keeping it oiled, wiping it down every few weeks. The flip side of that is like a military cleaning system, and we've all heard of the white glove inspection, but that's really more for good order and discipline than it really is to maintain the weapon, because a weapon really does not need to be a white glove clean in order to run properly. So we're gonna show you just the basic practical steps you need to be able to do to clean your weapon properly. Before you begin disassembling of any rifle, you wanna to check to make sure it is unloaded and that it's on safe. Once you've done that, to take down the AR, you wanna push the main takedown pins out. There's one towards the rear, one to the front of the lower receiver. You push those out from behind and they will pull right out. If you need, you can use a punch, assist in pushing them on out, and this will release the upper and lower receivers. From there, to finish taking down the weapon, you'll pull the charging handle, which will release the bolt carrier group, and your charging handle, and now you've taken the upper receiver down as far as you need to do to clean it. The bolt carrier group, you need to release the firing pin retaining pin, which allows the firing pin to come out. At that point, you will rotate the cam pin 90 degrees, kind of let gravity help you, the cam pin will come right out. The bolt comes out, and to take it down just a little further, you push out, easily push out the, uh, the ejector pin in your ejector. Now you've disassembled the rifle and you're ready to start cleaning. This ain't rocket science. You need a good cleaner and the components. I use the Impro 7. The kits come with everything I need. The cleaner works great. It reduces my cleaning time, makes it efficient. Basically what you want to do, you want to spray down all, your, all the parts that we just disassembled. Spray them down with the Impro 7 cleaner. Let it sit, let it soak on a little bit as you move through. Then take your brushes, your picks, all those kind of things and re remove and loosen the carbon. And then once that's done, you want to come back through and wipe it all down. It's really that simple. I, I, I'm oversimplifying, but spray it down, let the cleaner work, brush it off to loosen the hardened, built-on stuff, and then wipe it all out. There's different techniques to that with Q-tips and, and different cloths and things, but it's really that simple, guys. There's a couple areas you really want to focus on, though. The bolt face, there's always going to be some hardened carbon with a gas impingement gun and that stuff's going to have to be scraped off. The Impro 7 cleaner does a good job. It's starting to melt that away, but you're probably going to have to scrape some of that off. The chamber. The chamber needs to be cleaned. The chamber's highly polished. If you get dirt or sand in there, when the round fires and the brass expands, that dirt or sand can capture that piece of brass in there, resulting in a failure to extract. The barrel. I spray the cleaner down my barrel, let it run down in the barrel, and if I have a very, very dirty barrel, I'll run a brush down it to loosen it up and then pull a boar snake through. The boar snake one time is the equivalent of pulling about 150 patches through. It's definitely the quickest way to go. If you want to use a patch, I suggest a jag versus an eyelet so the patch makes full contact going down the barrel. But these few steps here, again, clean, brush it off, wipe it down, pay attention to the bolt, the chamber, and your barrel, and you're ready to lube and reassemble. As you reassemble your rifle, you want to make sure that you lubricate the weapon properly. This is really the key to mailing to run, is proper lubrication. In most environments, you really can't put too much lube if you're in a sandy, dusty environment. It's a lesson we learned many times in Iraq. You've got too much lube in there, it's going to attract and hold the dust and sand, and then it's going to even be detrimental to the function of the weapon. So, but in most cases, uh, it's hard to over lube the weapon unless you're in an area where you're going to have those kind of things. To lube the weapon, you really want to just hit the high friction areas. On the flange of the bolt, about halfway down the bolt, you'll see the shiny flange. That's where it rides inside the bolt carrier. Lube that up well. And on the bolt carrier itself, you'll see the areas to the left and right of the gas key. You want to, uh, where, the, where it rides inside the upper receiver, lube those up. Turn the uh, bolt carrier group upside down. And the areas where it rides on the lower receiver there, lube that up very well. Also lube the charging handle where it rides inside. Really, that's the simple thing, and just remember, when it comes to cleaning your weapon, it is not rocket science. Get some cleaner, spray it on there, clean it out, 
keep it lubed properly, and you got a weapon that's going to perform for you flawlessly, and you're going to have a blast with it. So remember, get to the range and have some fun. Trigger Time TV is brought to you by Raven Concealment System, Troy Industries, Troy Defense, Sword USA, US Optics, Mayflower Tactical, Arbros, Keltec, Dark Angel, Black Hills Ammunition, Yeti, Aimpoint, Wiley X, and Wilson Combat. We here at Trigger Time would like to dedicate this show to the men and women of the U.S. military, their family, friends, and spouses that support them. We thank you.